We are now going to talk about the implications, income tax implications, of being married in community of property, which is discussed in section 7.2a, section 7.2c. Now, before I climb into the detail with this, the first thing I want to talk about, you'll see, we're going to see in a second here, is what is a trade and what is not a trade. Now, this is all just a bit of revision for you from when you studied the general deduction formula. A trade, there's a section 1 definition. It's very broad. It, it has things like salary. Salary is one, so your job is one. Salary, business. Um, so salary and business, let's sort of take those two. So if you're earning a salary or any business that you're carrying on, or um, uh, profession or occupation. So if you're an auditor, you're carrying on a trade. Even if you're just working for someone, you're carrying on a trade. Okay, I'm going to include two things here. Rental, movable property. So if you rent out a boat and rental immovable property. These are all businesses. Okay, but I'm going to, I want to specifically just point them remind you that they included them. We're going to talk about them specifically in a bit. Rural property. And what is not a trade? Not a trade is things like interest, dividends, and annuities. Now, what Section 72A wants to do, it says if you are married in community of property right then the trade is not split but not a trade is split 50 50 okay so what does that mean yes mr. a yes mrs. a Okay, they earn a salary, Mr. A earns a salary of 500,000 rands a year, Mrs. A earns a salary of 600,000 rands a year. Um, Mr. A earns interest of 50,000 rands a year. Mrs. A earns dividends 60,000 rands a year. Okay, now, if we have to do the taxes, this is what we'll do. We'll take the salary. Mr. A gets taxed on his salary. Mrs. A gets taxed on her salary. The interest. Mr. A earned 50000 He will be taxed on 25000 of that, and Mrs. A will be taxed on 25000 rands. They both get their Section 10.1i interest exemption. Right? The full amount, 23,800, is available to each of them. That's one of the benefits of being married in community property. If it was just his, he would just get taxed. He would get, only get 23,800, but now they both get. Right. And then the dividends, the 60,000 rand dividends, that is also split between them. But the normal rules apply. It's still exempt per Section 10.1k. So this is what the rule says so far, what I've told you, and I'll show you now in the Act. That income from a trade, so your salary is a trade, is not split. Income from not a trade is split. Okay, so in the case of spouses who are married in community of property, any income, they say other than the income from leaving a fixed property, but for now I'll just ignore it, any income, Right, uh, which is why I'm carrying on of any trade, shall, if such trade is carried on by only one of the spouses, be deemed to have accrued to that spouse, or if it was jointly by both spouses, each of them will get their share of the proportion to which they are entitled to. So that just says if you are carrying on a business, 
So if Mr. A has his own business, he only gets taxed on it. If they both carry on a business and he's entitled to 60% of it, so it's like a partnership and she's entitled to 40%, they must be taxed on that. That's what it means. And any income from the letting of fixed property shall be deemed to have accrued an equal shares to both spouses. Okay, so just up to date. 72A says, if you have income that comes from a trade, then it will be taxed in the hands of that spouse. So that's what I meant here when I say trade is not split. It means it's taxed on the person who earns it. But see what they say here. They say, other than the income from the letting of fixed property. Now, the letting of fixed property, this rental of removal property here, it's the same thing. That is a trade. But they say, we must ignore that. And in B, they say, any income from the letting of fixed property is deemed to have accrued in equal shares. So what they're saying is they say, take this and move that there. So in other words, just for the purposes of this, rental of fixed property. So that's taken out. So what does rental of fixed property do? You will split it. Okay? Alright, that's all it says here. Then, I want you to now see in 7.2c it says, for the purposes of subsection 2a, so subsection 2a is the one we just looked at. So, say, so this relates to that. They say, any benefit paid to a person payable to a spouse in his or her capacity as a member or a past member of a pension fund, pension preservation, provident fund, retirement annuity fund, shall be deemed to be income derived by such spouse from trade carried on by him or her. Okay? So they say here, trade, pension, provident fund, RAF, Basically, that is treated as a trade, so it is not split. That's what it comes down to. It is not split. Remember, if it's trade, it's not split. Right? Any annuity shall be deemed to be income from a trade. Okay. Now, annuity is interesting because an annuity is not a trade. So that annuity over there, they need to say we need to move to a trade for for the purposes of this section. Right, so annuities. So annuities gets deleted over there. So what does it mean now for an annuity? Annuities are not split. Then they say, where the spouse is the registered holder of a patent, the author of a work of which there's copyright, or any other similar nature, any income from that grant, shall be deemed to be income from the spouse for the trade carried on by him. Oh, right, so, here under trade again, they say royalties from patents, etc. They are a trade. So what I want you to see, what is this section, this is now how it ends up. It says, you will not split the following. Anything which is trade, which is like a salary, business, Right, any profession, rental from movable property. Rental from immovable property is a trade, but that, for the purpose of this section, has been moved. That's what they tell you, you ignore it. So it's been moved to not a trade, so that it will be split. So rental from a fixed property will be split. Right, pension, provident fund, RAF, is a trade, not split. Annuities and royalties, not split. Now, if you look at not a trade, it's interest, dividends, and annuities, but annuities have been removed and moved and rental fixed property. So guys, this is how you can summarize it for yourself. If you're married in community of property, you will split the following. Interest, dividends, and rental income from fixed property. Everything else is not split. Okay, so I just wanted you to go through that process, show you the act, and then summarize it for you like that. So we only split those amounts.